Many Hoosier students are missing too many school days. That's why chronic absenteeism was front and center at the State House this week. Fox 59 State House reporter Hannah Adamson spoke with lawmakers about a recent report from the Department of Education and how they're working to try and get more kids back to class. Over the past two years, the state's chronic absenteeism rates have improved, according to the Indiana Department of Education. Still, the department and several lawmakers on the Education Interim Committee say more work needs to be done to get those numbers down to pre-pandemic levels. 17% of our students are missing about a month of school a year. In response to concerns about chronic absenteeism, Education Secretary Katie Jenner says the IDOE recently released an attendance dashboard, highlighting what the issue looks like in every Indiana school. Part of what we're doing as a state is making sure all of our absenteeism data is totally transparent. According to IDOE data, chronic absenteeism in Indiana is most prevalent at the beginning and end of a student's school career. 32% of high school seniors are chronically absent. So that's staggering number. We got our work cut out for us in many areas. There's some pretty simple things I think we can do that, that would... Uh, Turn things. Well, I think it's a hot topic. The question is, uh, what do we do? State Representative Ed Delaney, who serves on the Education Committee, says he's concerned by the number of outside organizations that are promising solutions while asking for state dollars. So the committee is sort of turning into a forum for vendors who want to sell services. The core problem is we don't have an adequate number of school social workers. We don't have an adequate number, and we have nowhere near the number of school counselors we need. Republican lawmakers say there is no one-size-fits-all policy and that they will talk more strategies and next steps at their next meeting in October. I don't anticipate necessarily more laws. I think the resources you're going to need to spend most of your time on would be in the elementary, preschool elementary. That most likely won't take legislation that could be taken care of uh, potentially uh, in the department. An exact date for the next Education Interim Committee meeting has yet to be released. Reporting from the State House, I'm Hannah Adamson.